All right, well, I've been waiting for this knife for quite a while. It feels like forever, but it's only been probably about eh, one, two months. And that is the Boker Quaken Blade HQ exclusive in copper and marbled carbon fiber. Oh my God, this knife is sexy. Look at that thing. This is an awesome, awesome blade. Let's get some HD close-up shots. Let me turn my light on a little bit more. This isn't so much a review of it because I just got it in the mail. Like literally, well, a couple hours ago, but opened it up, kind of played with it a little bit. And uh, I just figured I want to show it off. Look at that carbon fiber, the marbled carbon fiber. Mm, it's awesome. You got your copper bolster, copper backspacer. Got like a black wash type finish. It's kind of hard to see with my lighting, but uh, kind of a black wash finish on the liners. If we can get a good focus on here, you can see how the edges are a little bit... Uh, they're more of like a silver where it's been kind of tumbled. Same with the blade. Blade's not a completely flat black. It's almost like a kind of like a stone wash on there. Um, Kershaw's known for doing like black wash. I, I don't know if it's a proprietary term to them, but uh, I haven't really known Boker. Actually, no, Boker does kind of do something like that. The uh, Spoker Balasong Trainer. This kind of got the same sort of finish if you have one of these. Awesome trainer, by the way. But yeah, so. These are the Blade HQ exclusive Quakens. <laughs> I hope I'm saying Quaken right. Quakens. Quaken. Um, they're flipper. This is my first experience with Quaken. Um, mine's a little stiff. I think I just have to loosen up the pivot a little bit. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to put oil in these because these are the IKBS bearing system. Designed by Burnley. VG10 steel on the sucker. IKBS. So I don't believe you're supposed to oil up IBKS pivots. I have to look into that a little bit more because uh, not many of my knives have IKBS. But, you know, it still flips pretty good. Um, Quakens kind of have a, a following, like a, a crazy following around them just because people love them. And I can see why. This is a, this is a nice design as far as a pocket knife goes. Nice and slim, more kind of on the gentlemanly side. Uh, any type of quaking that you get, but especially this one with the, the copper and the carbon fiber. I think they call these like a tuxedo type of look, you know, with the two-tone. Could be wrong. Let's get another shot of that carbon fiber here. And that marbling, it's just mesmerizing. Kind of reminds me of a, um, a guitar pick a little bit. And No, I don't play guitar. I used to. Well, by used to, I mean I suck at it terribly. But kind of the same sort of, same sort of style. Definitely a awesome, awesome combo. Um, if you, well, if you know me, <laughs> I bought two because uh, why not? The Blade HQ, Blade HQ, Blade HQ exclusive. So uh, I bought two. This one I'm keeping completely wrapped because it is number five thirteen. Anyone that knows me knows I like uh, superstitious numbers. So anything with like a thirteen, a six six six, a seven. Gotta keep that, uh, gotta keep it sealed. Not that I wouldn't use it, but I, I just want to buy two because I was looking for a copper knife for a long time, or a knife with copper in it, and it's hard to find them. Um, the only other one I found was this, uh, Protec Godson. Steampunk. It's Scrim Scrimshaw? I don't know. Pattern. Really nice, really nice knife. A little small for my taste, but, uh, definitely, definitely an interesting piece to have. And it's auto, so I like, uh, I like me some autos. Um, but this... This Quaken just kind of caught my eye. I mean, definitely. And it's not as much copper. Uh, a full copper knife would be really heavy. Because copper, I mean, this is already a substantial knife. I want to say, I don't know the exact weight on it, but with my random guesstimation, I'd probably say upwards of plus five ounces. So like five to six, maybe. Somewhere around there. Not 100% sure. Um, another knife that I was going to get in copper, which I got it in camo just recently. Uh, man, Blade HQ, not... Yeah, Blade HQ, they're taking all my money. I'm buying so much from them. I just bought this like a week or two ago, and I bought Quaken. You can kind of see the size comparison if you got Paramilitary 2. Quaken's a little bit longer. Slightly longer. Eh, yeah, just by a little bit. Got a little bit longer blade. Uh, Paramilitary 2 does have a better handle, in my opinion. But, you know, um, where's I going with that? Oh, yeah, so Fly Titanium makes copper scales for the Paramilitary 2, which I was originally going to get one of those. A little bit pricey. But I 
I think I might still get some copper scales for this guy, but it's going to make it heavy. Like, it adds quite a few ounces onto it. This copper is just, uh, just heavy. Oh, oh, yeah, I'll make a video on this probably sometime soon in the future <laughs> when I get a chance. But yeah, copper tends to be really heavy. But uh, I like it because, I mean, right now I got, let's see, all the copper gear I got. I mean, I got Hinder Investigator Pen, Spiral, that's in copper. I got a Maritac, AAA in copper. Um, got a little Challenge Coin or Deluminati Coin in copper. What else do I have on me that's copper? That's probably it for right now. I need a copper Zippo, but right now the only Zippo I have is the little Tree of Life. Which, I mean, this is come on, brass, which, you know, that's good. Brass is fun. But uh, I do need a copper Zippo. But, yeah, so I like copper, so when I seen those Quakens, I just had to had to plunge on them. And, like I said, since they are a Blade HQ exclusive, I, I would call them limited edition, but I don't know if they're technically limited edition or how many they have of them. But definitely it's something that if you're interested in, um, I would recommend picking one up because I don't know how long they're going to be around. But I do have another version with a brass bolster and my car handle, which looks pretty good. I was going to get one of those, but I just decided to hold off for the copper and carbon fiber because copper, copper is life for me. Um, oh, there you go. There's a copper and carbon fiber fidget spinner. Why? Because fidget spinners still exist. So yeah, that's just a quick little overview of it. Like I said, not a review. I got to I gotta carry it a little bit, um, get some timing with it. Definitely will, definitely will. I'm going to make it one of my... Uh, my main EDC rotation knives. I almost don't want to carry it now though because I'm, it's too pretty, but that's why I bought a second one because I knew, I knew I'd be hesitant about carrying it. So I, I just had to get a second one. And you know, they're, they're about, I think it's 150 each, which in all honesty is not that bad. You're getting copper and carbon fiber. Carbon fiber is going to up your price a little bit. And especially since it's marbled, not to say that's any harder of a material to work with. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a knife builder, but those are two materials that you don't normally see on a knife. So definitely, definitely pounce on one if it's something that you're interested in. Um, but yeah, so any questions about it, leave them in the comments below. Not that I'll be able to answer them, but you know, you can like me on Instagram because I post all sorts of cool stuff on there. I'll post a picture of this when I'm done filming this video when I shut the hell up. But yeah, so have a good day and tell Blade HQ that you saw this video so that they can sponsor me. Come on, Blade HQ, when are you going to sponsor one of my videos?